What's up guys, I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC coming at you with the Coyote Saddlebag from Giant Loops. So today we're taking a closer look at the Coyote Saddlebag coming from Giant Loop. Now when you first look at this bag, it's a very unique design. Giant Loop started making this type of bag back in 2009. They've been refining it over the years and making them better and better. So you can see it's got that horseshoe shape to it. Now these are really popular really for any type of bike, your enduro bikes, your dual sport adventure bikes, your touring bikes, and there's a lot of reasons why. Well first, you don't need a side rack system so they're going to mount up really easily, really good construction. Now what's great about them too, you can see on this 300 XCW, is you're going to get a lot of storage capacity but they're really good for riders that like to stand up, work hard, and really get aggressive on the motorcycle. They do a great job of staying out of the way of the rider. Now with the Coyote, this is going to be a 39 liter capacity, so you're getting a lot of storage space here, but keep in mind that this bag is designed for your smaller dual sport adventure and enduro bikes. The reason I say you're smaller is because the space in the middle, that horseshoe, is going to be for your slimmer seats. Now if you really like this style of bag, but you have a bigger dual sport adventure bike or maybe an aftermarket seat that's wider, well look at the Great Basin. That's the exact same bag as the Coyote but it's going to have more capacity and the cutout in the middle is going to be wider to accommodate for those wider seats or bigger adventure bikes. So just keep that in mind. So what we'll do is we'll talk about construction, we'll talk about how this thing mounts up and we'll take a look at the inside so you know exactly what you're getting with this bag. So first order of business, let's talk about construction real quick. Now we've been using Giant Loop gear for years. It's always held up extremely well for us. We've used our pannier bags, our tank bags, We're always been very happy. Now with the Coyote saddle bag, you're going to get 22 ounce vinyl and ballistic nylon. So when it comes to heavy duty materials, that's what you are getting here. And what's nice about this, this 22 ounce vinyl, it's about as close to waterproof as you're going to get. They do really good stitching, the nylon straps, everything is just really beefed up. They want to make sure these bags are going to last you a long time. And a nice touch is that Giant Loop does have a limited lifetime warranty against defects when it comes to all the gear, so just keep that in mind. Now if we take a look back and we look at compression straps, well you're going to get six on this bag. So on each leg you're going to have a compression strap that goes around it, so you're going to have those there. With that roll top closure, you're going to have two buckles, one on each side to cinch it down from the top. And then you're going to have this beaver tail. Now that beaver tail is going to come up over the bag. You're going to have these two buckles here with straps. That's going to allow you to really cinch this bag down nice and secure. With any luggage system, it's really important. You want to be able to cinch it all down, get it nice and snug and as close to the bike as possible. So Giant Loop has really made that easy for you. Now we'll open it up next. We'll take a look at the inside. So if I undo these two buckles here, my roll top buckles. So there is that beaver tail that I was telling you about. Okay, so there it is, you saw that, the roll top closure. So roll top is really nice because it keeps dust and debris out of the bag. But what's nice is you have that 39 liters of capacity with the bag completely rolled over three or four rolls. But if you needed more capacity, if you're not worried about rain or getting wet on the inside, well you can do one less roll and that's going to give you some added capacity to the bag. So keep that in mind, if you need more space, just do one less roll. But if we open this up all the way, you're going to have a piece of Velcro up the top. Now one unique thing about this bag is that Giant Loop is going to include three dry sacks that come included. So those are going to, you're going to be able to use to stuff your gear in here. I'm going to pull out this top one here. So this is the dry bag that goes across the top of the bag. You can see you're going to have one on this side for this leg, you're going to have one for the right leg as well. So these dry bags are 100% waterproof, so if you were worried about your gear getting wet, put all your gear in here and then you can put it into the bag. If you don't want to use these, you don't have to. But one feature that I love that Giant Loop has done with these, these dry sacks, right here on the front you're going to have this valve. With roll top closure bags, a lot of times when you roll it down and you buckle it, you get a lot of air that gets stuck in there. So what these allow you to do is once you fill them up, I can actually squeeze this, you can hear the air coming out, and then I close that off and you can see this bag stays nice and compressed. So I really like that design with the dry bags from Giant Loop. So you're getting three of those again on the inside. Another nice feature about these is even if you're not worried about rain, it's always nice to put your gear in here because when you get to your destination, rather than having to dig through and pull all your stuff out, well you can just take out three dry bags, take them with you, and all your gear is with you. So I really like using the dry bags even on a nice hot summer day when I'm not worried about rain. So I'll put this back in here real quick. Now some people might be wondering, well can I use additional gear that's going to go along with this bag? And the answer is yes. Now Giant Loop has done a good job, they've included multiple D-rings that are really going to allow you to cinch down and strap additional gear to this bag. I'll show you that here in just a second. So what you can do with this bag is if you look at the legs, you're actually going to have multiple D-rings or multiple attachment points 
where you could strap down additional gear. So the Possibles pouch from Giant Loop is a real popular one. You can actually strap that here on top of these legs. Now with this Beaver Tail as well, if you wanted to run say the Tillamook or the Rogue Drive bags from Giant Loop, they recommend that with this bag. You can use this Beaver Tail as another attachment point. So you do have versatility. If you are searching for more storage space, you can run additional bags with the Coyote. So just keep that in mind. So the last thing we're gonna cover is gonna be how you mount these bags up to your motorcycle. Now like I said in the beginning, it's gonna be universal fitment and it really shouldn't take you very long at all. So all you're gonna do is just take the bag, place it on the bike. Now you want it far enough back so that when you are standing up working on the bike, it's gonna be out of the way. And then what you're gonna do is gonna take the two straps. You're gonna have one on each side at the front of the bag and you're gonna mount those either around the subframe or around the passenger foot peg if you do have those. And then in the back, you're gonna mount it to your rear fender. Or if you have a rear rack, you can do it to the rear rack. But you're gonna have multiple ways that you can do this. So when you get the Coyote saddle bag, it's gonna come with these fender hooks installed. And they actually installed on the inside of the bag, so you're not gonna be able to see it. But just like the name says, you can attach these to your rear fender. They're adjustable, so depending on the width of your fender, you can adjust those. And then you would cinch everything down and make it nice and secure. Or the option that we decided to take is they are going to include this extra nylon strap. So you can actually remove the fender hooks, you can install the strap, and then you just take that and you can wrap it around the rear fender. So on this 300 XCW, we actually have the Tusk Enduro Lighting Kit. So what we did is we actually loosened the under fender and just wrapped this, or we actually just passed this between the fender and the under fender, and that secured it in place really, really well. So you got a couple options there. And lastly, if you want to, we have the Footman's Loops. Those are from Giant Loop as well. Now these are sold separately, but what these are nice for is they actually just mount to the rear fender. Keep in mind, if you do get those, you do have to drill holes in your fender, but you mount those to the rear fender and that gives you a really good anchor point for this nylon strap that comes included. So again, you've got a few different options, but it's not difficult. It shouldn't take you very long um, to get everything installed. Now, once you have the bag in place, one thing you definitely wanna keep in mind of is your exhaust, okay? Your exhaust is gonna be close to this bag because you don't have a side rack on there, but what's nice is that Giant Loop is going to include their heat shield with every one of these bags. So I highly recommend putting this on your bike, even if you don't think it's very close, just put it on there, it comes included. So all you're gonna do is just gonna take this heat shield, it's gonna have a, a clamp that comes with it, you're gonna loop it through, wrap it around your exhaust, that's gonna create a barrier, that's gonna protect the bag from getting burnt when you are out riding. All right, so there you have it. Those are the Coyote saddlebags coming from Giant Loop. Again, you're getting 39 liters of capacity, those waterproof dry bags, universal mounting, and what I like most is just how well they stay out of the way when you are working hard on the motorcycle. So head over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com to check these out, and do not forget Giant Loop. These guys make a lot of great other luggage items for your motorcycle, so make sure you shop those as well. And if you have not yet, make sure you click subscribe to us on YouTube that we keep up to date and in the loop on the latest gear guides and product reviews that we are constantly rolling out. And do not forget, orders over $75 ship free. I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.